This is the updated MacBook Pro for 2008. Now, cosmetically, it hasn't changed a lot. Slightly thinner, slightly lighter, but not how you'd notice. And still, the same range of connectors. USB either side, couple of firewires, wired ethernet, and also a DVI. The range now runs up to 2.6 gigahertz, which is good news for people like me who use a lot of video editing software applications that are processor hungry. Of course, the main change, which you probably heard about, is the inclusion of a multi-touch pad. Now, this enables you to rotate and also to zoom in and out. Additionally, on web pages, if you use three fingers, you can sweep and navigate back and forth through those web pages. But for the complete Mac fanboy or fangirl experience, you could probably want to combine it with one of these. This is a time capsule. Basically, it's a mixture between a wireless router and a hard disk drive. Now, it comes in 500 gigs or a whopping one terabyte worth of storage. You hook it up wirelessly with any computer, but for the full experience, you're going to want to use it with Leopard because then you can use this application, Time Machine. Now, this automatically backs up your Mac, takes snapshots of the desktop so you can go back in time to any point in the past if something goes wrong, if you lose a file, etc. Now, unfortunately, at this point, it will only work with Leopard, but there are third-party applications you can get to make it work with older OS systems and also with PCs. Now, the great thing about Time Machine is when you want to go back to an earlier point, you go into the time tunnel. You get this rather impressive graphic. Now, each one of these instances represents a snapshot in the past that I can restore my computer to. If I'm restoring in the last 24 hours, I have a choice of hourly backups. In the last week, then daily, and then in the last month, I've got a choice of different weeks. And it's really easy just to go back and restore my computer to an earlier point in time. Now, the downsides to this time capsule, apart from it running extremely hot right now, is that although you can limit what you back up and when, you cannot limit the size. So the storage on this one terabyte drive is going to disappear pretty quickly. Another downside is that Time Capsule doesn't support universal plug and play. So if you're just using it for storage on your network, then your PS3, for example, or your squeeze box are not going to be able to see it. Additionally, you can't access it remotely. So if you're not on your own network, you can't tap in to get that all important file. But if you really are a Mac fanboy or fangirl, MacBook Pro plus Time Capsule makes a perfect partnership.